G'day guys, welcome back to another episode. Today is a very exciting one. We're about to cross the Nullarbor with a bit of a twist. Megan's gonna be driving. Yes, so we got your comments <laughs> on our challenge video and this is probably the second most requested after Jack swimming. Some of you, I think, wanted me to kill us, but I think this is a good enough start because a few days ago, I didn't really know what I was doing, but we've had a bit of practice. <laughs> we're gonna take you back to that now. We're gonna show you myself teaching Megan how to drive. Guys, she already knows I how know to drive. I know how to drive a car. She, I just don't have much experience driving this car. At her old job, her full-time job was driving around. I was driving around all day. All day. So we're not crazy. We're not <laughs> that crazy. <laughs> <laughs> so Megan knows how to drive. Don't freak out. But it's going to be a good experience. So we're going to jump back to Megan learning now, and we'll see you back here in a sec. All right, Megan. Okay. In you get. Are so, you not going to be sitting with yeah, me? Yeah, of course I will. So okay. the first thing you do is you close the door. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> and you got to, on a diesel, you got to glow start for five seconds. So yeah. a little thing will come up on the dash and you need to wait for that to go away and then you can start it. But what's the first thing you have to do before... Pull my chair forward. <laughs> what's the first thing you have to do before you even turn the key? Put your foot on the... <laughs> <laughs> you need to make sure it's in neutral. Had all the confidence then as well. <laughs> okay, no, seriously, how do I move this chair forward? Okay, hang on. Look at you, you look tiny in the troop. I feel like I still need a cushion as well. Okay, so, uh, push the clutch in, mm -hmm. make sure it's in neutral, left, right, left, right, mm -hmm. yep. And uh, you can let go of the clutch because it's in neutral now. Okay. And turn the key so that just once, is the glow, is the glow starting? It's glowing. Yep, and now it should be done anyway. So you start her up. Oh, big Megan! All right. I'm coming around. Okay. <laughs> Alrighty, Megan. Chuck her in first. Okay. Am I supposed to have yes. my foot on the So you put the clutch, clutch in and you chuck it into first. It's on the far left and up. Yep. Yeah. Okay, so remember, any time now that you let go of the clutch, the car's gonna go forward. Yeah. But you're lucky with the diesel, it's very low revs in it. It can you let go of the clutch very slowly and it'll, it'll just go forward. Okay. It'll do all the work for you. So you shouldn't even have to touch the accelerator. Let go slower, slower. All right, now fully let go of the clutch. Oh. Take your foot off the clutch. Okay. Like fully off. Yeah. Yep. All right. Now push the clutch in all the way and put the brake on. Don't let go of the clutch. Now put it in neutral and you can let go of the clutch now. And keep my foot on the brake. Yeah, so it doesn't roll around. Right, okay. Look at the confusion on her face. <laughs> All right. It's like that meme, you know, the one with all the yeah. numbers. <laughs> Do you feel confident going straight now? Yeah. Okay. Okay. She's done it, guys. She's a professional already. First gear. All right, so yeah, in first gear. <laughs> We're in first. And I'm still not pressing the accelerator. No, nah, you don't need to. <laughs> I think I'm gonna need to nah. at some point. You'll be all right. What, are we just gonna cruise another ball like this? <laughs> <laughs> Have you got it? <laughs> all right. You go drive the car by yourself now. Really? Just around in a circle. Aww. Just remember, whatever happens, just put the clutch in and put it in neutral. Okay. Oh. Here she goes, guys. <laughs> just don't accelerate. You don't need to. Okay. Just get the feel of it. I don't know if this is the best decision, but we're doing it. <laughs> What's she doing? What's wrong? No, you haven't got the clutch in. Oh, right, wrong foot. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> no, you can't, because you're going too slow. What if I went faster? Nah. She's getting all confident now. <laughs> this is actually going better than I thought it would. All right, what do you do? Clutch in. Neutral. And you, you, you can brake the whole time as well. Oh, okay. So, how do you feel, Megan? Do I you feel more... more confident than I thought I'd be. That's an indicator. Yes, I'm aware, thank you. <laughs> All right, so a few more days and I reckon you'll be ready to go, mate. All right. <laughs> On your maiden voyage. All right, guys, wish us good luck. No luck needed, full of confidence today. Megan's full of it, full of confidence. Full of something. Full of... <laughs> All right, start her up, Megan, let's do it. All right. This feels odd being where I am. All right, here we go, guys. All this training is leading up to this uh, big event. It could be the worst decision ever. <laughs> All right. 
I feel a bit nervous. I'm not as confident anymore. <laughs> All right, chuck it into one. Okay. That's it, go. Okay. Turn left, right, left. <laughs> okay, don't stop, don't stop. Go accelerate, accelerate. Wait, okay, wait, there's a car coming. All right, don't. Oh my God. How do I reverse? <laughs> we need a oh, car God. reversing. Hey oh, guys, we're on a hill. And I didn't teach Megan how to take off on a hill. What is that difference? <laughs> we haven't even got 20 meters yet. Okay, ready? So what you do on a hill is you let go of the clutch. Oh. Let go of the clutch until okay. you can feel the car going forward. Remember how we learned this? Uh, and accelerate a little bit and you'll take off. Okay. Yeah, but then I roll backwards and there's a sign behind me. No, there's no sign. You're fine. Everything's okay. Okay, now start letting go of the brake okay. and put your foot, foot over to the accelerator and tap the accelerator. <laughs> Guys, we haven't even left the 90 mile straight sign yet. All right, start her up. I don't like this. Accelerate, that's it. Let go of the clutch. Let's done it. <laughs> She's done it. <laughs> All right, gear two, clutch in. Let go of the accelerator. Now accelerate. All right, she's getting the hang of it. Have you got the heater on? It's very hot in here. No. Oh my God, I'm burning up. Now go to, go to about 90. And Cruise along. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> House rating. <laughs> what a great challenge, I don't guys. Know how they, oh, there we go. What a great challenge this is. I'm chilling, loving it. I might do some editing. <laughs> <laughs> Might edit up a photo, we'll see how that goes. You're on you're on radio duty though. Radio you, duty. Usually last time I was a lot more prepared and I downloaded so much stuff for offline. I downloaded a bunch of podcasts and music, but this time we only have Harry Potter or my musical theatre playlist. So which one do you want to do first? Harry Potter. <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna listen to some Harry Potter. All right, the rain is here. It's a nice, cozy day. We got a six and a half hour drive today, I think. Six and a half But hour. it'll probably be eight with me driving. I always say to Megan that I feel very tired after a long drive. Today, she is going to understand that. Or I'm just going to understand that you're a bit of a... Or we'll see. A but you definitely get tired when you're driving like this. Oh, 100%. Yeah, sure. Don't even accelerate. Why are you such a stress head? Because I don't want you to stuff the car up. Why would I stuff the car up? Because you will. <laughs> See guys, this is why I don't drive. <laughs> okay, am I far enough from the car now, yes. your highness? <laughs> Dumbledore's abrupt departure took Harry completely by surprise. All right, we have made it. We're about 20 Ks from the South Australia border. Megan still doesn't know how to turn the car off. How are you going? I am. She's smashing it. 
<laughs> you got to... Oh. oh, yeah. No, I know what to do. Don't tell me. Put it in reverse. Oh, I wasn't going to do that. Because the old handbrake doesn't work. Megan's absolutely smashing it. She's uh, doing a really good job. And I'm actually loving not driving. Although I'm very, I, I'm very anxious. <laughs> I'm real anxious with her driving. <laughs> I actually really, really want to drive. We've stopped before the border because, tell them why, Megan. Well, we have a bunch of fruit and veggies. We have a bunch of fruit and veggies that we stupidly bought. Well, not really. We thought we were going to do a bit more cooking before now, but we know that the, the checkpoint is in um, Sejuna, but... We think, we'll, we think we'll it's the, in Sejuna. Yeah, but like regardless, we'll do the right thing anyway. And, just and cook our veggies up. Do a up. bit of a cook up. Um, we're just making... Whoa. You want to take that? What are we making? Um, we're just making a fried rice out of the veggies that we do have. So I think we're just basically just going to stir fry them and then we'll like do the rest of it later. Yeah. The meat and the rice and stuff. So we're going to cook that up. Because I would be happy with staying here tonight because we've got such a nice sunset going on. But Jack is persistent <laughs> that we have to go to this certain campsite. We're going to the Bunder Cliffs, guys. Yes, you won't see it tonight because it's going to be pitch. Actually, that's well, the other thing. Um, can you drive from here? Yeah, otherwise Megan might drive off the cliff. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, we're going to the Bunda Cliffs. You're not going to see it tonight because it will be dark. Um, but yeah, we're crossing into South Australia. How mm -hmm. exciting. It happened pretty quick. Yeah. And uh, it all f it's, it's awesome. We can't wait. <laughs> Hopefully it's all smooth sailing. I, don't, I think you just drive straight in. Yeah, we did last time because last time we crossed through, it was very uh, COVID times yeah, in WA anyway now so there was lots of police and stuff at the border which was very was intimidating. intimidating so yeah that's another reason that I'm not too keen to drive across the border because you know when you're in front of police or anyone with authority and you don't want to look nervous so yeah. I just don't want because that would just look bad think, like I, you know when you go to like border control at the <laughs> airport and you think oh god like did I pack my bag I know I packed my bag but she, she'll probably drive nothing. straight into the police cars <laughs> we'll all just go to but guess what? You're driving tomorrow. Yeah, I know. <laughs> guys we made it to South Australia last night and we slept on the edge of Australia as you can see and it is absolutely amazing I recommend doing this to anybody that is passing by the Bunda Cliffs here it's just uh it's an amazing feeling hey yeah, it's your it's favorite <laughs> spot in Australia isn't it, it is it is because this is our first like we came here and we we crossed our first border of Australia, yeah. in Australia, and we stayed here. And, and it's, it was like, it's official now. It's official. Because we're in, <laughs> we're in South anyway. Australia, baby. It was a bit creepy last night coming in in pitch black, though, because yeah. we didn't know where the edge was. Yeah, the edge is right there. Maybe we were a bit too close, but <laughs> it's honestly amazing, mate. It's so cool. So we had some brekkie, and uh, we've been watching our little movie that we've started yeah. watching. And... We're at the age now where we can't watch a whole movie in one night. So we started it last night and we just finished it over breakfast. So. <laughs> Classic. Beautiful morning. We're heading into Penong, Penong today. There's three reasons we're going there. There's a big windmill. There's something else I'm not going to tell you about. And the owner of the caravan park is an absolute legend. And it's why we're going back there. We... Yeah, he was so friendly last time. So. <laughs> <laughs> he was the best bloke we ever met and it was a great start to South Australia. So we're going back. And we'll see you in a bit. Alrighty, Skipper. Start her up, mate. Okay. Then take us along on our journey. <laughs> Here we 
You're doing a great job. Thank you. There we go. All right, you ready? I'll jump in. Guys, Megan is doing a spectacular job driving the car. I'm very, very proud of her. I'm very impressed, but I'm still nervous. In the, uh, I'm nervous in the passenger seat. <laughs> Terrible backseat driver. Alrighty guys, we made it to our caravan park and like we said, the bloke at the reception is an absolute legend. How you going Megan? Good, my driving challenge is done. I'm Jack's going to take over from here because it's a bit more populated and a bit scary. But um, All she has to do now is Cape York. No thank you. <laughs> so we've just got fried rice for dinner. It feels like it shouldn't be dinner time but it's getting dark, it's really weird because we realised flicking rice everywhere here. We realized we lost 45 minutes yesterday and 45 minutes today from the time zone change. So it's like messing with me a little bit. Leave a comment down below telling Megan how good she did on her driving, because she did really well. I didn't see any of the good bits, I just saw me freaking out. It was definitely a rough start, but she worked it out. She can now take off on hills. Um, she's got all the clutch sorted. So leave a comment down below and tell her how proud you are of her, because I'm bloody proud. Let's have some dinner, eh? Three days. We are actually stuck. It's a hard life. Isn't it? <laughs> We're at the most beautiful beach location. Set up the chairs to watch the sunset, and it's nowhere near sunset. And I think we're gonna go to sleep. It might have something to do with all this crap that we've bought. What do you mean? Donuts we haven't eaten it yet. Biscuit. Yeah, we ate the donuts. Yeah, but they were stale, so it doesn't count. Family-sized <laughs> burritos and all kinds of things. You mean Doritos, not burritos? Oh, did I say burrito? I don't know. Did you? <laughs> Um, anyway, we've come to one of my favourite beaches in South Australia. We'll give you a little snappy on the screen there to uh, show you where we are for about three seconds and leave your comments down below if you think you know where we are because I'm pretty sure a lot of you will know. It's so beautiful. If you haven't been here, then 
you got to come. Even, but we'll tell you where it is next week yeah. if you don't know. Even on a bad day, it's <laughs> nice. Um, we just checked out Lake McDonald today, the pink and blue lake, and Australia's biggest windmill, which mm -hmm. were both very interesting places. It's massive. But we're both pretty pooped, and uh, I don't normally use that word, so <laughs> pooped <laughs> from all the driving. <laughs> and uh, we didn't really pick up the camera too much today. Yeah. And well, I'm totally was, okay with that. It was a lot of driving. You've probably seen enough uh, singing and audio books for one episode. So you probably had you know. enough. But saw some beautiful places. The Nullarbor is amazing. And yeah. I loved all the quirky little stops that we saw on the second day as well. That was really cool. Yeah. Being and the second time round going across the Nullarbor, we felt a lot more confident. So yeah. we did enjoy it more. Mm -hmm. um, there were some, I still get some moments though, like when we were driving at night, because we hardly ever drive at night. No. So when we were driving on the way to the Bunda Cliffs. If you've seen the movie Nocturnal Animals, let me know, because there's a scene in that, that driving at night on the Nullarbor reminded me of that, and it was very creepy. You'll know what I'm talking about if you've seen the movie. Yeah. It's a good one. Um, but yeah, we just want to thank everyone for commenting down below their challenges for us. Mm -hmm. Keep doing it. We really enjoy it. It was good. Yeah. I, it was, I mean, I didn't feel that way at the beginning, no. but it was Me good. Megan now knows how to drive <laughs> the troopy properly so mm -hmm. if i'm ever in trouble she can save the day so mm -hmm. thank you guys for making her do that because she probably wouldn't have done that i might have if it wasn't for you guys <laughs> um so yeah just make sure you stay tuned for next week because i'm going to be doing a little bit of a challenge and yep. uh let's just say it's five degrees here in the morning <laughs> so he's going to be doing it a lot next episode yeah so we'll but, leave um, you wondering just want to clarify with the challenge as well. If you have a challenge for us, make sure you leave it in the comments of this episode and any other episode that we do. Yeah. But we just want to say for the challenges, we'd love if you could challenge us to do something that would take that, us yeah. ju just under a week to complete the yeah. challenge because we want to do day. yeah we want to do one yeah like a day to a day, one to four days yeah. so we can do one challenge every episode. So then we got time to edit because we want to be doing. Obviously, weekly episodes. Some of you were sending things through that said, do this on your entire next lap or do this for a month and we can't cover that in one episode. A so. couple we can do throughout the journey. But yeah. If it's a big one, we'll maybe do like a two-parter <laughs> or something like yeah. that. But yeah. But anyway, uh, we just want to say thanks for watching and mm -hmm. uh, leave your comments down below for those challenges and uh, we'll see you next week because it's going to be interesting. Yes. Thanks, guys. <laughs>